inside St. Dunstan's. We sat here, I remember, we sat in our black, and we mourned and we prayed and we bowed our heads. How I hate God then, I spronged him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings have remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags. I know my path awaits me. All right. We're now inside the church. Hmm. Okay. Hey. Okay, what the? Let's check the drawers. Nothing. Okay. Let's pick up this note. November 23, 1899. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with a secret, but he is like all of the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock, says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd, indeed. <laughs> okay, who is Father Jeremiah? Mm -hmm. Just beg again. <laughs> Keep seeing his face. Oh, got here first. Oh. So, where do we go? Okay, let's go this way. Okay, I believe that... Okay, the... Ah, okay, it's connected to the other one. Now... We have... Some candles and a cross. Oh no, there's no vampire here, right? <laughs> it's like Count Dracula. Oops, hey, what's this? Candle. Count Dracula. <laughs> Wait. Okay, part of Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now where once I had to walk amongst them bring salvation to their lives now drawn by warm wa winter. By the food that Mandus distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, claiming that his workforce are a special frame for the new machinery he uses, that it would be irresponsible, nay unethical to risk such precious lives as he sees here. Change man since Mexico. It, ha it is to be praised that in the face of such an appalling tragedy and from the con what is this? contents of his sick bed as he is often chained to, conducts me one of the greatest and the most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rights to become the dominant food produced business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Just like a saint. No. Okay, that's the only thing that we can pick up, except for the chairs. And oh. What now? That's a different saint. <laughs> ah! Okay. Why are there pigs here? And... Some candles. Okay, this is not a normal church. Oh, what's this? Oh! A cryptic clue, some kind of mechanism, a secret infernal one, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer, but why this I cannot phantom? Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer, and where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar as if someone was pulled away? Okay, let's go get that candle. Uh, ah. 
How about here? Ah. Oh. Okay. Let's go get the candle first. I haven't explored the other side of the church. Uh, okay. Let's get the candle. Okay. I'm getting goosebumps. Thought I heard something. Wait. Let's go here. Okay. Nothing here. Wait. Huh. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity. One of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back offal at mankind. What? You're worshipping this pig? Uh, okay. Now. Okay. I heard something here. Ah! It's fire. Wait. Infernal machinery. The engine fires, the flames are stoked. I heard steam in the walls, vibration upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark con contraption but my children beckon me on and I cannot fail them okay Let's see what this do oh what the whoa okay it appears I have no choice thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul this is my Bedlam, and I am to cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horrors lie beneath the altar. Okay. It's a good thing we have this. Hey. Uh oh. There's no turning back now. It's a good thing we don't have to worry about the. Listen, oil. Papa, hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. What? Okay, I wonder what kind of egg that is. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. And what's this? What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What beat stitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found, yet I leave you this. Scroll in the malondrous half-light, whilst my tormentor shovels below my fellow prisoner's keen and squeal in the gloom. And where I wait for the knocking upon my cage that signifies it is, finally my turn to make that dark journey into the interior. <laughs> hey! Oh! Someone in there? Go here first. Oh, oh, what is this place? I hear someone talking. Okay, I think it's just here. Oh, there are people in there. Oh, shit. Okay, that's a pig that we've been seeing earlier in the game. Hey, stop flickering. <laughs> okay. What is this? What is this? Uh, why can we open this? Can 
Go inside. Now. Uh oh. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh! Okay. Shall I run? Uh oh. I'm hiding. Oh. Uh oh. It's coming here. That's not a pig. Mm. What now? <laughs> okay, run, run. <laughs> and so the stocking. The workers sing as they work, they sing as they eat, they sing as they make toilet. They are always singing, if you place your ear to the ground, you can hear them still. Is that toilet? Toilet. Ah! They make toilet! <laughs> okay. It's hard to read these letters. <laughs> these fonts. Huh? Steam. And still some dead rats. Okay. It's locked. And more pigs. Still locked. Oh. Outside. We need to crank this? Nope. <laughs> what? Madness. Meat processing factory. Now, why are the barrels moving? Okay. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks and the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. Oh. Wait. My soul shudders at what I've seen and. At last I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards and downwards and to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. Right, okay. Friend? Okay, everything's quiet. <laughs> These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better government. In the workhouses and in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. What is he talking about? And I saw that monster again. Okay. To go down or up? Okay. We go up. <laughs> down is not good for me. <laughs> Don't like going down. Okay, slop. Okay, well. Having is that a train? 
Ah, strain. Okay. And it's this damn phone again. Hello? Hear me, Mantis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. No. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. What saboteur? <laughs> so the only way is down. <laughs> Silky, silky. Hey! 